Corinna. And Ty Treadway. Hi, this is the part of the show where I can talk about everything and anything in the world at daytime. I call it my soapbox. Joining me today, he has an opinion on everything, and today he's going to share them with us. Corral. Hey. Hi, Corral. Hello. How are y'all doing? We have Christy Hoover. She's been watching soaps for about 10 years. And from Soaps in Depth Magazine, Matthew Miles Grayson. Yeah. Welcome. All right. Our first topic today. What do you think of the plots on daytime involving aliens? Well, coming from talk radio, I'm sure aliens do exist, and they call my radio show often. So. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, so, you know, um, it's fun. I mean, why not? If you're going to have suspended disbelief, why not go for aliens? Although they're always gorgeous. You ever notice that? How about the ones on days? Aren't yeah, they gorgeous? Yeah. Have you seen the aliens on days? Great hair care products on other planets, i got to tell you. i got to tell you, these people have bodies that yes. are, are just, well, people, aliens, whatever they are, they yeah. got great bodies. Yes, well, they I, do. That's one reason why I think that... that it's doing so well is because they're they're nice characters that come off this all sweet and innocent. They're with um, Belle and Sean who are sweet and innocent. And, and seriously, these, don't and we don't we all want to believe that aliens really exist? Oh, sure. I know yeah. I do. Oh, yeah, I want to think that there are aliens out there. I have a friend who wants to marry one actually. She's uh, giving up on humans. Really? Oh yeah, why not? Yeah. Uh, that could be a whole nother show. Yeah, she's here, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you think it distracts from an overall storyline on a plot, or is it just fun? Well, not if it's done well, yeah. I think yeah, if they and, keep and it with the teen storyline, and they don't get the adults involved, because I think that the teens can kind of more buy into it. And even if they, even if they kind of segued it into almost like a Roswell type of thing, Oh, oh, I think the older demographic, I think that's a, I saw me an alien once, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> it's outside my trailer. It was right, yeah, no, I, absolutely the older demographic. I think any far out story, if there's a good plot, if, if it, there's a really good storyline, if there's chemistry between the actors, then it's going to, and there's a payoff at the end. If you take you, you people the all the way through this, right. the it's the writing, the writing. If the yeah. writers are really into it and they're going but strong. But there's got to be like a good love story to, that the, you know, these two people or whoever it is oh, interesting. went through this non -person. Went, well, they went through this drama with it and then at the end they there's a payoff for the viewers I yeah. like that that there's a payoff I right. think yeah, the actors themselves also can pull it off yeah. can it, it, that's a big part of it okay the passions that seems to be the most overblown type of show but people seem to love it well the reason because well, I don't know you don't watch Fort <laughs> Charles we've had vampires and, and aliens and an avatar and so obviously it's working if we're talking about three different shows sure well, well it yeah. works with passion because because that's what you tune in for with passions. Right. You know everything is going to be over the top yeah. from be, you know from the day it started. There's a monster it was over. every time you I turn it on. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. like a red who, monster. You have to see what they're going to do alive. next. You yeah, same with poor Charles. It's like, oh, vampire. Oh, now an angel. Oh, look, an avatar. It's like, yes. So it really doesn't <laughs> matter <laughs> what it is as long as there's a good story involved with well, the Well, I want to move there. It's right. never dull, you know? Don't draw it out too long. Don't, yeah. you know, don't. So you want to pay off. As the fans, we're not Yeah, aging aliens are never good. Okay. All right, well, let's move on to good characters who go bad. Uh, what do we think of that? I love a good girl that goes bad. Don't you? I really I do. So do I, I do. Yeah. I, I, think, I think it's because we all kind of want to go bad at one time or oh, another. Don't y'all think so? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. There's a little bitch in all of us, I think. Oh. Yeah, no, there is. I know there isn't me, but, well. uh, you know, so, <laughs> <laughs> there is. I think there is. Well, the, the important thing with something like that is if you take a character and then make them bad, you can't um, paint them into a corner. You have to have some, unless you want to get rid of them eventually. Can they be good eventually. again? If you go, yeah, how you, about if you're good and then you're, you're bad and then you're good again? Well, then you write it that there's a little bit of human quality. Well, there's quality a difference between a bad series some, of choices or a bad, like where you, you sort of go down a bad path. Because you can justify that. Yeah, right. you know, everyone like, makes you, sometimes Absolutely. you have to be a little evil okay. to get what you want, but you're basically a good person, you know? Okay, so we like it. Yeah, we like oh, no, I love to get that when a character goes bad then um, something about the storyline draws the viewer in and you like that person bad and then when they yeah. go good again you already like them and the whole story just but they flows. can't do something really bad because then if they get punished well define really bad on the side well, well, you know, yeah. not necessarily yeah not not like that kind right, of thing. Right, there's yeah. got to be something the to a keep them on the change, canvas. A personality change, good girl, bad. Well, it depends on who they murder. <laughs> right. You know. <laughs> all right, well, thank you all so much. And if you would like to see anything discussed in the soapbox, send an email to us at our website, soapnet.com. We'll be right back. Thanks, all. <laughs>